everyone, it's Robin with Uniquely Robins. <clears throat> um, as promised, we are going to work on our vintage purse today. And everyone seemed to like the black one, which I'm kind of glad of because this was my grandmother's. And it means a lot to me. So if I can fix it up, I cleaned it all up. Um, it's scratched here and there, but that I don't, that doesn't bother me. Um, I like the vintage, the vintage look. Um, that's something right there. I did clean it. I don't know why I missed that spot, but, um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start with this one. And it has the little things inside that flip up to put the chain on for when it's closed. Um, it doesn't have a chain. She said it, she broke it. Um, who knows when, but, um, yeah, this is what we're going to work on. Now, bear with me because I'm going to be doing some thinking because, um, I don't really have a plan. I just know I want to do something to make this really pretty, and that's where we're going to start. Um, I did find my other things that I was looking for yesterday. I forgot to bring the, the thing up when they came. Of course, I'm not sure where the beginning of this is. Trying not to break it. I'm trying to find... There's the beginning. There we go. And these are just like dangling pearls, but they're flat on the back, so they'll lay flat down. Um, I thought was be really pretty. And um, this is the... Oh, I think that's taped. Oh, it's just plastic. Okay. Um, the rhinestone strings... I thought probably we'll use this for the handle. I thought that would look really pretty on the handle. So we're gonna um, has some rhinestones and oh, I guess they're just rhinestones up across the top. But I think we're gonna do a little mix of rhinestones and pearly stuff. And like these flowers, they'll bring it all together because they're mixed rhinestones and pearls. And a lot of these um, other bits and bobs and doodads in here are also. Um, I also got these, I thought I had everything open so I wouldn't have to make so much noise on camera for you, I apologize. I don't know if we're going to use any of these, but I do have, um, these little butterflies with the rhinestones. I just think they're gorgeous. I'm definitely going to use them in some of my journals, but I don't know if we'll use it on this project or not, but I stuck them out, hoping I wouldn't have to go get anything after we started. Um... Which, knowing me, we probably will. Because I never remember everything. And then one other thing I didn't show you yesterday is um, this lace. I actually forgot I ordered this. And it come yesterday. Um, get it loose. So you can see. It's got little flowers and stuff on it. Isn't that gorgeous? I think this is going to be a pretty project. Um, and I also have these... Um, I don't know that we'll use any of these. There's a little tiny rhinestone from somewhere. We'll save that. Hope it didn't come off of that. No, those are all too big. Um, but there's some little roses in here. Um, we might possibly use a couple of these little pink ones or um, the white ones, roses, that are in here. I'm not sure yet. I know this project is going to be more than one um, episode, so... But there's some little um, flowery, white flowery things in here, pearly looking ones. So we might use some of that. Never know. I'm going to set it right behind me just in case. Because I don't think we're going to get to that, that part today. But um, maybe tomorrow. So I have, I had thought maybe yesterday about um, using these on here. But I don't, I don't really like that very well. Oh, and then I have um, a bunch of just all different colored little flat backs. Uh, and then some uh, rhinestone looking ones. And these are the things I didn't have out of the bag yesterday. Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Um, these, I just stuck them in this glass. They look kind of pretty in there. And we might use those. Um, I think that's the only thing I hadn't shown you yet. Except for this. This is what I decided instead of those, um, these here. And I might use one after I get it all covered or something. I might use one of the smaller ones on the front. I don't know. Um, 
I never know anything till I get started. But I have two choices for covering the, the main part of this because I want to cover it, but yet I want you to be able to see the black through it. Um, so I have this material here and it um, has some little teeny, teeny, tiny pearlescent um, sequins runs throughout it, so it'll be kind of sparkly. So I had thought about that. So I'll either use that or I have this piece um, that I had thought possibly, <clears throat> excuse me, about using it. So it dangles off of the bottom a little bit. So I have to decide on which one to use and wish I was doing this live so you could tell me which one you prefer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have my tiny cup of coffee here. Um, trying, I took some medicine before I started. I'm trying to keep from hacking and coughing on, on line with you here. Um, I'd hate for you to see me cry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, well, let me think about it for a second here. Um, it's going to be a lot of thinking in this video. I apologize for that, but um, I kind of like that. I like the, the bottom part of it. But it might look better on one of those other bigger ones. Because I, I kind of like this, that you see more of the black through it than on it backwards. You can't see the sparklies. As you see more of the, the back through it. And we're going to have a bunch of other stuff on there too, so. Let's see. All right. Um, I am a visual learner. <laughs> I don't know if I have told you that before. Um, I have to see things in order to do it. My grandmother taught tried to teach me how to crochet when we were little when I was little for months on the end she kept giving me books after books after magazine after magazine um, with the instructions in it for me to read and I just couldn't get it um, but then she sat down with me one day and she said I know just sit down here with me and she sat down with me and showed me how to do it one time and I had it I, I've got to see it and when I see it then I can do it I like them both. Okay, Robin, you can always use one on the other purses, so let's just make a decision here. I'm thinking I want to put some of that fringe on the bottom. I think I'm going to go with the lace. All right, I made my decision. <laughs> Now this purse goes um, in on the side here. So I'm going to pull this open to put it on so that I get it um, all the way around with the little pleat on the side. Okay. I'm gonna try not to bend those. Push those in, try not to bend those. Okay, and I, my hot glue gun is warming, should be warm enough. I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start in the back. I think that will be easiest. I want to make sure I have enough to go down the sides. If I don't, because I don't want to seam in the middle of the front, or really the middle of the back. I'd rather it be on the side. Okay, I think that will work. I actually think this is cut just the right size, too. All right. Now, I'm going to glue gun this on because we're, I'm not, it's not something that I'm going to use. I mean, you can use Fabri-Tac if you'd rather. Um, Fabri-Tac just seems to make me sick to my stomach, the smell of it. I don't, I don't know why, but it does. So I try not to use it anymore than I have to. I found that out here recently. Never really used it before anyway, so. 
But this isn't something that I'm going to use. It's something that I'm going to just hang on my wall for decoration. I'm trying to get as close to the metal as I can without actually going over top of it. And we're gonna have a trim piece on there anyway, so. My grandmother, let's tell you a little story about my grandmother. Um, when we were kids, every time I asked my, I would ask my grandfather how him and grandma met and got together. And he would always tell us that he won her in a cakewalk. So we always thought, you know, he just didn't want to tell us. You know, he was just joking around, not wanting to tell us. So finally one day he sat us down to tell us, to tell me the story. Uh, I have a mouse in my pocket. But um, set me down to tell me the story. And he said that um, he had went to a town fair when they were younger. And um, he entered the cakewalk. And Grandma was the one passing out the cakes and stuff for the people who had won. And he won. And he went up to get his prize. And um, she asked him which cake he, want, he wanted, because I guess they had a choice of cakes. And he said, I don't want a cake. I want my prize to be a date with you. So she agreed to go out with him. And they went out on a Saturday. Or that was, a, I guess that was a Friday. And they went out on the that following Saturday, or that Saturday, and had their date, and Sunday, they eloped, <laughs> and they have been married, had been married, went before they passed away, they had been married over 65 years, and he said he has never regretted it, and Grandma said she's never regretted it. So I just always have loved that story. So he actually won her in a cakewalk. <laughs> Don't everybody wish they had stories like that about how they met? I do. I hope I didn't make this too short. I'm hoping. Hoping and praying. Of course, we can always cover it up and fix it. I always tell you, you can always fix something. But they have both passed now, and one of the reasons I told you that story was this was one of the purses that she, the purse that she had on their date. She bought it for their date, which makes it even extra special to me. So now you know I'm just an old fuddy dud sentimental. <laughs> But I do love everything vintage. I have um, a sewing machine downstairs on this landing that is uh, was my husband's grandfather's, the treadle um, type sewing machine. And I just love it. As far as I know, it still works. I told my husband I wanted to use it. I was having problems with my new one. Uh, someone on our Facebook group had told me that She's evidently saw it in the video that she has the same kind that I have. And I'm just not used to all the newfangled stuff. I'm used to using the old ones. And uh, when I first got it, I don't know, hold, had, well, I had it for about a year before I actually set it up. And uh, by the time I finally got it set up to use, I had only used it, oh, maybe a week. And it just stopped working. And I could not figure it out. I tried everything. I kept reading the book and couldn't figure it out. So I asked my husband to read the book. And he read the book. He looked online. And finally we came down to... Um, the. I mean, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, 
he said, well, did you try this? Did you try that? Did you try that? And I'm like, yeah, I tried all that. And uh, the last thing he said was, um, did you change the needle? And I said, what's well, a brand new needle? I've only used it a couple of times. And he said, well, you know, change the needle. See if that helps. That's all it was. The needle was just, and I laid it down on the table and rolled it. I mean, if it was bent at all, it had the teeniest, tiniest little bend in it. And it would not work because of that. And I've not had trouble since, so. I just think it's crazy that that little tiny bend in a needle would stop your whole machine from doing anything. But it did. So. I'm used to the ones that, you know, you could take the handle and back it up if you wanted to, or. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to cut this off at the bottom. Um, hopefully these are the decent scissors. I'm going to try to cut it bigger than I need it to be so that I don't make it smaller. Too small. Can't even talk today. <clears throat> oh, that hurts. I am feeling better. It doesn't hurt so much to breathe, but when you cough, it still feels like your lungs are being shredded. So I try to avoid that <laughs> at all costs. But it's something I've learned to live with. I get it at least once a year, every year. Okay. Okay, I did make that a little little on the big side so let's because I do want to fold it up just a tiny bit but I don't want a lot of bulk down there all right this morning when I got up I was looking at um, some of the videos that I had subscribed to from our YouTube channel oh my gosh you would not believe that awesome awesome work people are doing I mean just beautiful And I'm just going to run a bead along the bottom and I'm going to glue one side and I'm going to glue the other side on top of it. I know some of you are cringing because I'm doing this to something that's vintage, but I thought about it for a long time because I wasn't going to put it in the mix. And then I thought, you know... It's been sitting on my dresser for years. And I, I think I've used it once. I think one time I, I used it at a Christmas party for my husband's work. I think I took it, or I don't know, it might have been one of his mason things. Um, or the Knights, the um, Commandery, or one of those things. I used it for that. Um, but I was afraid it would get tore up or something, so I didn't want to use it anymore after that. Um... Gonna tack it along here a little bit to tuck this under. Ooh, that was hot. It's a hot glue gun, dummy. Of course it's hot. But um, you know, I got to looking at it sitting there and I thought, you know what? I think she would love it that I used it um for a project. I think she was always so crafty. Um, she used to take those um, legs eggs that you used to get pantyhose in called legs eggs and make, she would put some kind of beads in them and then crochet around them. And she made Humpty Dumpty little rattles for, for the kids. And I just thought those were so cute. Okay. I'm going to start in the middle so I can this even. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get it even. I'm going to put a couple of just little teeny tiny tucks. Ooh-wee. You have to excuse the looks of my glue gun. I have had that glue gun probably... Oh, I've probably had that glue gun since before my daughter was born, so probably 30 years. But it still works. I do wish it had a 
uh, one of those precision tips the new ones have, but, but you know what? As long as it gets the job done, I'm not going to complain. Okay. I know it looks kind of strange right at the moment, which all good things do at some point. All right. Let's fix this little one right here. You know when you get to that point in your craft and you think, oh, did I screw it up? But then when you get done, you get everything completed, it's gorgeous. Okay. So there we have that part. Now, I know that I'm going to work on the front first. I know I want to put, or I'm pretty sure I know I want to put some of this on here. Boy, they never make it easy to find the end of anything, do they? I know it has to have an end somewhere. Oh, quick. Oh, there it is. Okay. Had it glued together. That was probably a smart thing. That was probably smart of them. Yeah, I know I want some of this on there. Um, thinking, though, that I want to put it down along the bottom first. I might put some at the top, too, but I really like it at the bottom. It's another thing I love is fringe. I'm going to tap this just... I should have done it before I put that on there. So if you make one of these, do this before you put it on there. I'm going to try to squeeze just a tiny bit of glue in there. To, to reinforce that um, fold there. Because it had a fold originally and we want it to keep, keep its shape. Okay, now I just need to figure out how far up I want this to be. I do love the fringe. What, who am I fooling? I love every craft kind of thing. Um, it won't help if I get it straight. There, I think right there would be good. Now I just have to decide if I want it one layer or two. It's not quite as full as I was thinking it was going to be when I got it, ordered it. Okay, let me start. I'm starting, I know it's hard for you to see, it's hard for me to do sometimes too. I'm starting right at the bottom. Got a lot of strings, which you can take care of those with a heat gun when you're done. Right at the bottom of where the crease is at, I, where I'm starting that. And I'm going to try to get it straight. <laughs> That's probably the easiest way <laughs> to get it straight. I'm not even watching the time at all. Okay, we're doing good. I thought I was rambling so much that... Of course, this time at least I was rambling while I was working. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go into this crease right where that is at and out the other side. So we want to go in and out. I know it'd probably be easier if I cut this off, but I'm, I don't really want to waste any more of it and any of it. I have a contingency to um, cut more than I need, and I always try to use it, but my husband tells me that with food. I always make him way more than he needs to eat, and I said, well, I'd rather you have too much than not enough. Well, I would hate for somebody to go hungry. 
And if he was hungry, he wouldn't tell me because he's just sweet like that. Stand straight, I hope. Oh, and speaking of husband, <laughs> um, I did want to let you know that uh, at dinner last night, he wouldn't tell me what he wanted for Christmas. Kept telling me nothing. So we finally agreed that we weren't going to buy Christmas gifts for each other just for the kids. Well, my daughter and the grandkids. And, well, her husband. Um, but I asked him again what he wanted for Christmas. And he said, I love you. I love that you enjoy the Facebook and the YouTube. I want you to keep doing it. But, I said, but what? <laughs> he said, but Christmas Day and the day after, because that's when we're doing our Christmas with the children, the day after, can you not do any YouTube and can you not do any Facebook? Just them two days. <laughs> and he's off for like a week, so that was pretty good. And for him to ask me, it must mean a lot to him because normally he would not say anything. He would just say, whatever you want to do. <laughs> See what he always says, whatever you want, whatever you want to do. He is just a loving, sweet guy. I just love him so much. Um, so I did promise him that. So I will not have a YouTube video or be on Facebook on Christmas Day. So we have to go pick up my grandson on Christmas Day. Um, in Sydney. So on Christmas Day or the day after because that's when we're doing our actual Christmas with the the little ones. So I apologize because I did tell you yesterday I wouldn't try not to take any days off but I have to do this for him. Well I don't have to but I love him and I will. <laughs> he is the most loving man. He is sweetheart. And he doesn't ask for much, ever. <laughs> and he puts up with a lot from me, so. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute so far. I'm just wondering, this is awful, a lot thinner than I had expected it to be. So I'm just kind of wondering if we shouldn't put two on there. Yes, I'm thinking so. I'm thinking we need two. Yeah. I got it. May as well use it. I'm just going to put this one right over top of the other one. I could have moved it down a little bit. Make it a little longer, but... It's, I just... It's not the length that's bothering me. It's the thickness. So I think that looks much better with two of them. Wasn't a bad price on this, so. And they have all different colors. I'd like to have every color. I definitely would like a pink. A pink one. Because I never used to do a lot of pink journals, but I have been here lately. People really like pink. I like pink. I've always liked it. And red's my favorite color, but you don't see a lot of red journals. And a lot of people don't like the, the bold colors. And to make my make sure my fringe is on the right side of itself. I don't wanna glue it up where it don't belong. I'm trying to get this exactly right on top of the other, and I think, at least so far, knock on wood, I've done pretty good about it. Getting it even and straight. Well, I don't know about straight, but even. <laughs> Evenly on top of each other. And it's a little hard in the little creases there to see what you're doing, but you can feel your way. I'm starting to like it. Gotta do my best on here. I gotta make Grammy proud. Okay, now let me 
kind of awkward using it on there like that, but keeps me from wasting a lot. I don't like to waste. Okay, I'm going to move this over. Not saying we're completely done with it because I don't know yet, but for this moment we are anyway. Shoot, it's really warm in here today. Of course, I was cold earlier. My husband and I were both sick last year, right? Right between Christmas and Thanksgiving. We couldn't even go to the in-laws for Christmas and Thanksgiving. We were both sick. We, just, we didn't want to make them sick because Mom has a tendency to catch things from people really easy, too. And, uh kind of regretted it afterward because dad got sick right after Christmas and passed away in January, end of January. So we missed our last Christmas with him, which I really regret. He's such a wonderful man. I just love my in-laws. I know a lot of people don't like their in-laws, but I loved my in-laws. I still do. Okay. Well, them scissors are crappy. Where's my... There they are. I have just a little piece that's sticking up on here. I, aha. Got it. A little fuzzball. Didn't want him on there. Okay. So, we got that so far. Now, I'm thinking about this for right up under here. I think that is going to be very pretty. I just got to figure out how to do it. Um, how do I want to do it to get it in them creases? Give me a challenge, Grandma. Oh, I think that'll work. Yes, I think that's going to look pretty on there. Yep, that's what we're doing. All right, well, I have the same problem with this bowl. Let me undo more of it. I'm going to start here. I'm just going to do the very tippy top of it first. Try to keep it down where it's not interfering with our little rhinestones that are on there. Because I had thought about taking those off and putting new ones up there, but I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So I want to... Keep it down under them. So you see what I mean by covering that top piece so it doesn't make a difference, you know, if you mess up up there, you know, as long as it's not a great big gapping hole, um, which you could fix that too, but. Okay. Now, I think it's going to be going to have to do it in two pieces, one on the front and one on the back, because if I don't, let me make it just a tad bigger than I need, if I don't, it's going to interfere with our um, opening, so you got to keep checking that and make sure it's not, get in there where you belong, it's not messing with, you getting your purse open, in case, you know, you ever do want to use it for something or even just store some some goodies you want to hide in there. All right, let me get this caught. I'm going to cut this at an angle. Sorry, flower. I'm going to cut the tip of you off. I apologize, flower. You don't want to make your, your craft products mad at you. you got to apologize to them. Glue this just so it doesn't fray. There we are. Now I need to cut this side at the same angle. Or, or the opposite angle, I should say. I apologize to you too, little flower. It's alright, I'll use you for something. Okay. I think my daughter and her husband are coming up um, 
Christmas night. I, I'm kind of conflicted because um, we normally, as soon as the kids get here, we let them open their presents because I hate to make them wait. Um, I feel like I'm being mean if I make them wait. But I'm thinking I'm going to make sure that my daughter thinks the little ones will be okay with it, which they probably won't care. They don't. There's two and three. Or, so. Well. Allison just turned four or three, so Dallas will be four in January. But, um, Andrew's the only one that he's he's eight, so he will. He might care. He he wanted to open them the last last weekend, and it's it's not Christmas yet. But I would like, um, since my daughter and her husband are staying overnight. Friday night, I would like to have them wait till Saturday morning, like a regular Christmas morning, to open their presents, because I miss that. My daughter is older now, and I miss Christmas morning, but we'll see. We'll see what they say. My husband says, well, just tell them that's the way you're doing it. <laughs> I said, yeah, but I don't want them to feel bad. I hate when anybody feels bad. All right, straighten up there. Okay. What am I doing on time? Oh, not too bad. I thought that was going to be an hour already. My husband has to work today, and tomorrow, he says, he says, I'm supposed to work, only work till nine. He works, he goes in at five in the morning. He said, I'm only supposed to work till nine, but him and I both said at the same time, I'll believe that when I see it, because <laughs> he always has to work later than they tell him. And they always ask him. Um, could you, I think it's, could you work? And he always tells them, well, I could. <laughs> so they always have to say, well, would you? <laughs> it's so funny. All right. All right. Okay. That was just lace, not a flower. He didn't cry or anything. Okay. Fold that in there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this is what we have so far. I think it's looking pretty decent. What do y'all think? I'm wondering, this has this across here. Um, I was wondering about putting maybe a piece of this along the back side. I can keep a hold of it. Man, my fingers are sore today. Uh, oh, don't you roll off the table. Sorry if I bumped you. I thought for sure that was going over. Um, what do you think? I kind of like that on there. It gives it a little sparkle on the back. And you still know it's the back because the front ones are bigger. And really old. If this was just a, a vintage purse that I had purchased offline or something, I would have probably took this off and replaced it with something else. But since it was my grandmother's, I think I'm going to leave it but I am going to put a string of this on the back. But first, okay, I have way too many pairs of scissors out here. I'm gonna trim this little fuzzies that are sticking up. All right, now let's see how steady I can get my hands. Well, not very, <laughs> come on. You can do it. 
Sorry if I got my head in there. Especially since I haven't put my hair up yet today or anything. Oh, 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 that's the side. Okay. Boy. I'm having a hard time figuring out what's the front. There we go. All right, I waited too long. Gotta do that again. Let my glue get dry. So maybe I need to do a, I thought maybe if I did one whole row, it would be quicker and before the glue dried, but my hands are not steady enough for that. Not today, especially. So, I can get it peeled off of there. At least we know it's gonna stick once we get it on there. All right, let me get my little glueies out of the way. This, with between the light from the camera and this being so shiny, it's it's really hard to see if you have it right side up. There we got it. There we got it. Come on, Robin. Straighten up. Sorry, I'm not talking to you. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to concentrate here. <laughs> trying to get this straight. All right, that looks pretty good. Get this extra glue off this lip. There we go. Now, let's see. Do I need to take it? I don't want to think I need to take it all the way in, all the way down, but I'll take it a little ways. I guess I should do this side first. Let's see what I got left. Oh, plenty it looks like, so. Don't at least go down that far. Come on, lay down there. Well, I had a pair of tweezers out here somewhere. Get in there. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of glue there so it'll hold that down. All right. Now we do this side. I hope I'm not interfering with you seeing what I'm doing. There we go. There we want to pinch that down. Just for a minute. Okay. So there we go. Just a little tiny bit of bling across there. Now I will go back through and um, clean up all this glue that I got on the edge. Probably with the heat gun that would help. Okay. But I'll wait till I'm done for that. Get in there, boy. It's always a boy when it's misbehaving or hindering you, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna glue these little uh, very end of this down. You see, I took all of that time making a decision on which fabric I wanted to turn. Lace on fabric. I can't even speak today. As my grandfather said, I can't speak plain. Um, to put on down here, and by the time we're done, you're not going to see much of it anyway. So, just gluing the little tiny ends of that down. I'll do that on the front also. I bought me somewhere some of those little pink um, 
I'm not even sure what they're called. When you put them on your fingers when you're counting papers or something, it helps helps you. Uh, and they're they're made of that same stuff that they make the sticks that you hold. Um, gosh, I can't even think today. The sticks that you push your um, hot glue down with, so you don't have to use your fingers. And that's what I use them usually use them for. Is when I'm doing stuff like this, I put them on my fingers so that I don't. Don't stick to it so much. I don't have to keep. I do have a trash can over here. I'm scooping that stuff off my fingers with. Um, so you don't have to do that. But I still haven't been able to find everything since I moved my craft room upstairs yet. Okay, so that's where we are so far. Now, what else do we have here? I have some of this appliques, these little flowers. And I'm thinking about cutting some of them out way down there, and put it along here. See what side? Yeah, that's the front side. Or. Or I have some of these little pink flowers. Oh, don't use those scissors for my, that's my material scissors. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Goodness. I could put those along there. Um, no, I might use these, but I have an, an idea for something right in here, right in, probably right in here, <coughs> that I will use those with. So, we'll go back to that. I have that one, and I also, sorry for the noise, I have to keep this, I keep this wrapped in tissue so it doesn't get all messed up. Um, but I have these appliques. And I'm thinking maybe about putting one of these on there or something. Let's, let's try that. Let's see what we got here. We cut a piece of it off. And I apologize for that noise. I know it hurts some people's ears. But I have to keep this, I keep this wrapped in tissue so it doesn't get all mussed up. And I'm wondering about, stay down where you belong, dude. Get in line, you little soldiers. About putting this piece right in here. Or just the flower. Let me cut them apart. And we'll try one. And then we'll try the other. And see which looks better. Okay, there's one. Um, let's see. Sometimes with these it's hard to tell. Where you want to cut? I think I want to go up through here. Right through there. I think I want to keep that part on. We'll see. So we'll go through there. It's kind of like doing those puzzles when you were kids. The little maze trying to get one side to the other. Without going across the line. Okay. That's kind of pretty in itself, isn't it? I'll definitely keep that. Now let's see if I can do the same thing on this side. Let's see, we cut that part off, didn't we? Yeah. shouldn't take as long as it's taken, but I, okay, I'm going to think 
make straight. Right. I'm trying to make sure I get the same part on one side as I got on the other side. Okay, save that. Save that for sure. Just roughly cutting this right now until I, I'll have to do a little e uh, tighter fussy cut when I decide which I'm putting on there. And I could put this in the middle. That would be pretty. But then I couldn't do what I was going to do over there. Of course, I could do it right in the middle here. That would work. Well, we have just the flower. I don't think that's enough. I think I think we're gonna do this. Let's, let's tidy it up a little bit and <clears throat> uh, see what it looks like. I have to make me some mint tea later. My husband cracks me up. He says he knows when I'm, he knows when I'm sick when he gets home from work. If I have a, a little, I have a little tray that I have my little teapot on with tea in it, mint tea. He says when I have that out and I'm not drinking coffee, he knows I don't feel well. Because if I don't feel good, sometimes I can't drink coffee, which is just odd because I drink coffee all the time. In that, in that case, I just want my mint tea. And those mints that you can get, especially this time of year, the really soft ones that kind of melt in your mouth, um, they're, they're the red and white striped, but they um, kind of melt in your mouth. That's I put a couple of those in my tea with a little bit of honey. Oh, it'll help upset stomach too. My old fat thumb stuck in there. <laughs> okay. If I think if we let's see. There's the exact middle. If that fits well that must have stretched one side a little further than the other. Put it right under there. Right in between those two. I like that on there, don't you? What do you think? Yeah, I think we'll put that on there. I'm going to try to put it on there this way. So I get it even. Well, even as I can get something, put it that way. <laughs> Trying to put the glue on there kind of liberally, but not to where there's a bunch that's going to goose out, especially down here between the, the fringe. Maybe it'll help that fringe behave a little bit better. You just want to make sure that you hold your fringe down so it doesn't get bunched up under there. Ahead of me, it wasn't your turn yet. Ding. Sorry about that. I collect tea sets and I found a bunch of them at a Goodwill. Just the just the cups and the saucers. So I use those extra ones up here. That's what this is one. And then I used the, the plate for that for my glue gun. Holds my glue gun and keeps the glue from oozing onto my desk. Oh, I like that. It's looking good. What you think, guys? You liking it so far? 
you're thinking I'm just totally crazy woman and you don't want to see my videos again <laughs> well, that's the front I'm not going to decorate the back as much as the front um, just mainly because um, I have a surprise for you with this and the glove thing I was talking about um, and I don't want to tell you what it is yet it's a surprise So you won't really see the back at all, or at least, yeah, no, probably not at all. Yeah, you won't see it at all. But I still want to decorate it a little bit so that, I mean, I could have just done just the front for what we're going to do with it. But I want it to, to be nice because it was my grandma's for one. And for two, I wanted to show you how to do the, the whole thing. Something's looking crooked there to me. Is it looking crooked over there in this corner to you? Did I not get it tucked under good enough, or do I have too much bulk under there? Or may, is it just, may, may just be me, it's hard to tell. May just be me. Okay. All right, move this. We are definitely gonna use that again, because we're gonna use it for our um, uh, Yeah, I know you're telling me what the word is, aren't you? Handle, for our handle. Man, I couldn't think of the word. I must really be losing it. Um, this one. This one is whimpering a little bit because it's a little bit on the tip of him cut off, but we'll still use him. Everything's worth something. Even this little netting you can use for your little snippets or what have you. I was thinking about maybe putting this up here. Oh, which would be okay. But he's cut a little bit right here. Of course, if I put my other thing I was thinking about on there, you wouldn't notice that. But I don't know that for sure. Or do I just want this? Or is that too much? Oh, I, I kind of like this better. It kind of makes this all look like completed. Um, do I have another one? No. Um, I'm gonna make that noise again. I'm so sorry. But that one is, I just need to get a completed one. Where is he? Um, right there. Right there at the bottom too. Evidently, when I cut around it, I cut into it more than I thought I had. I'm sure we'll use the flower for something. Hope I'm not out of frame. I'm just cutting this piece off of this applique, and I didn't want to bring it too close to the camera because I know that noise bothers some people. I kind of like the creaking noise, but some people don't, so. Okay. Now, let me get over here and trim him up a little bit closer. That's, maybe that's why my finger got stuck in it the last time I had him upside down. I got these scissors on Amazon, and I'll tell you what. For little tedious stuff, they are great. I am going to have to go get me a couple of more pair just in case these decide to go dull on me because a lot of my scissors are dull and I just have to figure out some way to sharpen them. Some of them are, were my mother's. Okay, come on. Chun, chun, chun. <clears throat> okay. All right, we will put you right there. We will use you, baby. Don't worry. Might not be on this project, but we will use you. Now, trying to get this in the dead center, 
Maybe I need to put my glue down, a spot of glue right where I know the center is. Then work from there. Now I just gotta get it straight. Good. Okay. Hey, I haven't done too awful bad about taking forever to make a decision today. Like I normally do. <laughs> it normally takes me forever to make a decision on something. Okay. I've had these. I got these come on these little plastic. I wish they were wooden like they used to be in the old days, but you know, they never make anything good like they used to. But um, these kind of spool looking things, when we get done with using this, I have a couple of ideas for those. Now. Well, that looks kind of pretty on there, doesn't it? Oh, I think we will put it there. Will we? Our flowers are kind of behind it down here, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Oh, let's do it. I just got done saying I was not taking so long to make decisions today, and here, here I am doing it again. All right, first I need to get a little more off this roll. Okay. I'm so glad I got this stuff because not only will it make this look, project look beautiful, but it'll give me a little more stuff to work with because my uh, craft supplies are running very low right at the time. one reason I was so appreciative when Anne had sent me the, that Happy Mail. I've never even got Happy Mail before. I never knew what Happy Mail was. Um, but I understand why they call it Happy Mail because it makes you very happy. Because <laughs> it was so sweet of somebody to do that. And take, you know, out of their time to think about you and send you something like that. So we get Happy Mail. Just remember that. It is so sweet for somebody to take time out of their day to, to think about you, for one. I mean, just for somebody to take time out of their day to think about you, I just think is just an awesome, precious thing. But for somebody to take, you know, time out of their day to, to think about you and think about what you might like and send you something is just an awesome person to do that. And I will have to make something and send to her. Okay, lay down there, all in a row. I, when I first got these, I thought, oh, I wasn't expecting the pearls to be, or the, yeah, the pearly things to be flat on the back. I thought they would be, you know, regular, like, pearl look. I knew they wouldn't be real pearls, but I knew they, thought they'd be pearl looking. But I'm, I actually like that they're flat for this project. Guess I need to read the description more. I just see something I liked and had to had to get it for this project. Excuse me. Now I want to go. I need to open this so I can get in here. I want to go through here. stick doesn't want to go down in there. There we go. I was trying to hit it on my chin to make it go down in there and I did not want to do it. I had my hands full. All right. Let's get started here. And I can close this up. My 
husband told me the other day, don't you want to, like, play some music or something while you're crafting? I'm like, well, I can't do that on a YouTube video. And he said, well, you don't think people would like it? Or I said, no, just, there's so many um, copyright things out there. You can't just play somebody's music while you're recording because... And he was saying, yeah, he understood and was telling me a little bit more about the copyright thing. It's something he just hadn't thought about that. He just thought when I was up here crafting, I was just up here crafting. I said, well, normally when I'm up crafting, I'm doing a YouTube video. Because he's really into music. And I like music, don't get me wrong. I, mean, I like all kinds of different music. I just don't evidently like it as much as he does. Sometimes I just like quiet Or to do my videos where I can talk to you. When we first got married, he told me he thought I lived under a rock because uh, he would ask me about, um, did you like this movie or show or something? And I'm like, well, I never really watched much TV. <laughs> when I was a kid, I never really watched a lot of TV. He likes TV. He likes TV a lot. <laughs> but I never really watched a whole lot of TV. So I'd say, well, I've never seen that. Never even heard of it. And one of them was uh, Star Wars. <laughs> Those are Star Wars movies. And when I had said I'd never heard of it, he was like, that's sacrilege. you got to watch those. So we sat um, one whole weekend and just binged on Star Wars. I like them. They're nice. And then we did the Hobbit series, the um the Hobbits, Lord of the Rings or something like that. I love those movies. Those are so cute. The little animals and stuff in them. I love them. We're getting there. What do you think? Of course, the back we haven't done a whole lot to, but I did run that across the back just because even though we're not going to see it, I, w I always like my back of things to at least look finished. Even if I make a a picture that goes on the wall or something, I always put some brown paper on the back of it um, or something like that. Just I, I just like to look finished. I don't know why. It's just me. Okay, we have this little uh, flower here. And I'm thinking... Where did that little rose go? That that little rose would look really pretty right there. And I'm liking this so well, I don't think I'm going to do what I was thinking about maybe doing. Because I like this better. So I think we're just going to put some of these roses. Put one right here in the center of that flower. Just to give it a touch of color. And we have our bits and bobs. These, I think... I like them, but I think they're a little big for this project. There was a couple of, whoops, sorry about that, dude. There was some little, still there, these. I want to dig those out. Probably shouldn't have put all these in one bowl, but didn't have a container right at the moment for them. Let's see if I can... Sorry if this is noise is hurting your ears. There's two. I know there's one more. I dropped one of these on the floor yesterday after I did that video. And it took me forever to find that little dude. And I don't know why, because it's not like he's tiny. But it took me forever. <clears throat> I haven't got my coffee pot up here in my craft room yet, and I need to do that. Oh, I missed you. Go back in there. And we may use some of these. I'm not sure. But these, I know I want to put on here somewhere because they're just so pretty. So let's see. I'm trying to keep this up so you can see. I know it's probably the way my camera angle is. It's hard to see when it's laying flat. Um, we could put... One there. Oh, another one there. We don't have.
have to use them all, but but why not? We got them. I'm trying to debate if I want three across here, or does that look too too much? And I should put like one here and one here. Hmm. Now this one I might have to think about. Oh, maybe if I do that and then I put a couple of those the roses to bring that down here. That I like. Okay. Oh, please don't fall on the floor. Caught him on my lap. Was having some deja vu. Being down there climbing around looking for him. Two more on you. Um... Now, if this is something that you want to make to use a lot or is going to be somewhere where it might be moved a lot, um, I don't think anything's going to fall off of it. But if you just want it to be safe, especially if you're going to use it um, as a purse for something special or something like that, um, you know, you never know. Somebody might want to. Um, I would definitely, underneath the hot glue, I would use E6000 because the hot glue is going to hold it while the E6000 um, dries. I do that with a lot of my um, other kind of crafts that I do, the, the three-tiered trays and stuff that I make. Um, I use the hot glue and the E6000 because the hot glue helps you while you're doing a video or something um, to get it done fast or if you just want to get it done fast. And then it holds it long enough for the E6000 to take hold because that usually takes... A lot of people say a couple hours, but I think a good 24 hours before the E6000 is completely set. But once it is completely set, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so you might want to use that if it's something that you're going to use. I think I'm going to put it on the back of him. There's a little well in here the back of these so you got to make sure you get enough on there that it fills that well up okay oh it's looking good oh i'm over an hour i'm so sorry um we will pick up here tomorrow i did not realize that it was that long man time flies when you're having fun um yeah there's a few other things that i want to do to it yet um, not a whole, whole lot, but a few things. Um, so we will pick up tomorrow and I will try to cut some of these out because I think I want to put a few of those around. So, um, we will, we will pick up in the next video, um, where I left off here. I apologize. I was not expecting it to be this long. Ugh. Seemed like that second half hour just flew by. All right, guys, uh, show the girls below some love. We'd love to see you on our, our in the Facebook group, Uniquely Robins and Friends. Um, we have like a big family there. I mean, and that's what it feels like to me is a family. It really, really does. Um, great stuff going on. Show the other girls down there some love. Um, if you do join the Facebook group, you have to, to subscribe to the videos that are up in the, the uh, YouTube list. Um, I was Like I said, I was watching some of them today and just some awesome, phenomenal things on there. Um, so... Have a great day. Stay safe. God bless. Bye-bye.